Hey there, how are ya? Um, my fellow perfume freaks. Um, this is my perfume cabinet right here. And uh, as you read in the title, um, basically this is how I built my collection and where I got my my fragrances from. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reach around here and flip on the light. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open these doors. Now, um, I have been into fragrances for a long time, people. A wicked, wicked long time. Um, you know, I'm not, um, I haven't been in the game for like a handful of years, six years, seven years. I've been in this game for decades, guys. I'm, I'm not a spring chicken. I, I've been doing this for decades. Um, seriously collecting and getting into uh, niche fragrances probably around the end of 2008, um, beginning of 2009. So I've been in this game for 13 years. Um, so here, here's my collection. I'm, I'm not gonna do a collection video now. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, it's coming this summer. I know I've been talking about it for uh, years, but it's it's gonna happen. Um, basically this cabinet is full. I, I can't get anything else in there. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you where I get my fragrances and uh you know and here we go all right and welcome back um all right so if you're planning on building a collection and I mean I'm just gonna be honest with you when I first started this way way back in the day um uh, I didn't have any aspirations of or intentions, I should say, of, of building a massive, you know, collection consisting of hundreds of bottles of, of niche fragrances. I just never had that in mind. But you know how it is, man. You start getting into this and you start sniffing fragrances and, you know, one leads to another. And next thing you know, it's a, it's a wrap. You're now considered a collector. I'm, I don't really consider myself a collector. I just see and smell what I like and... If there's a house that I like, I'm going for it. And that's basically what it is. Um, but, you know, these are the places that I mostly, like all, all the fragrances you see, um, most of the fragrances you see in here, there are some here and there places that I've gotten that I'm, I forgot at this point because it's been so long um, and I don't really deal with them anymore. But uh, this is the lion's share. These boutiques that I'm going to name for you um, basically are the places that I get you know, the lion's share of my fragrances. And the first place is um, uh, Min, New York. Um, now, I don't know. I know this place went under new management years ago, um, I think. I'm pretty sure because everything that they used to sell, um, I didn't see anymore when I went back to their site. But they still have good fragrances if, if you, if you want to uh, get your fragrances from there. Um, don't know of any contact there. Um, I know someone by the name of Mindy who used to work. I don't know if she still works there or not. I, I, I couldn't tell you. Um, like I said, it's been so long since I got anything from them. But when I first started, this is where I usually got my niche fragrances. The next fragrance boutique that I get my fragrances from um, is a place down in Miami and it's called Osme. Um, I've only got I've only gotten one there and it was online. Um, I, I've been there once, but when I took a trip to Miami, when I got there, they were closed. Um, I guess uh, the owner had to go to a wedding because there was a piece of paper on the window that said, gone, this was Monday, gone for a wedding, be back on Tuesday, whatever. So anyway, Osme um, is another place that I get my, my fragrances. Next up, I think I've gotten like four or five fragrances from the, from the next spot, which is Twisted Lily. Um, I think they're out of New York and New Jersey. I can't remember. Um, I'm going to post it so you guys can check them out if, if you just want. And then uh, back to New York, um, Oswald. I got a lot of fragrances from, from this place. A wicked lot of fragrances. Um, I got them. My, my contact there was Josie. Uh, um, her last name is Plumy, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Really sweet girl. Very, very knowledgeable. She knows her stuff. Um, hooked me up with a lot of stuff. I blind buy a lot of fragrances and she literally nailed my fragrance preferences 
down to the to the T. I mean, to the letter. She's like, I think you would like this. I buy it. She ships it to me. As soon as I open the box, boom, I fall in love with it. I'm like, she had me nailed down. However, I do not believe she works there anymore. Um, matter of fact, I don't think she's been there for, for months. That's what I heard. Um, I used to talk to her a lot on Facebook, but she fell off. She doesn't really do the Facebook thing that much anymore. Um, but um, I think that the, the, the customer service is still the same, you know, probably not as good, but I don't know that for certain. But Oswald in New York City is where I got a lot of my fragrances. Next spot, out to California, this is Lucky Scent. Um, the only problem I have with Lucky Scent is that they're very, very stingy when it comes to giving any type of discount. So if you want a discount there, if they're not offering, um, like you, you can't be a VIP, at least I'm not, <laughs> right? I don't know if you can or whatever, or somebody that's listening to this is a VIP, but I've literally purchased, like I don't even want to try to enumerate the number of fragrances that I got from this place. No, 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 hell no. Because if I did, I'd probably kill over. Um, but suffice it to say, it was a lot. Um, again, they're good. Like I said, you know, they ship same day. As soon as you order it, boom, it's in the box and it's out there. Um, and you can determine how fast you want it delivered, but you're going to pay for it. Um, but like I said, as good as they are, unless you're a VIP or you know somebody, if you're looking for any type of discount, like Notino discount, forget about it. Not going to happen. Forget it. Um, all right. The next place is uh, a guy that is a friend of mine on Facebook, and it's Max. Um, Max Aroma, um, they offer discounts. Like, you don't, you, whether you're a VIP or not, doesn't matter. Um, they offer discounts. They're a really good site. They ship right out same day. Um, and if you're looking to get, you know, if you don't have the budget to get, you know, those $500,000 fragrances, you can do the whole afterpay crap, which I believe is um, financial suicide. But if, but if, you know, if you want to roll that way, you whatever, and pay, you know, you can do that. I think most of these sites do that now. Um, but a very large selection of these fragrances, if that's what you're into, certainly is what I'm into. A um, little bit of a gray market here, not Notino type, but still very good. All right. Uh, the next place is right here in my backyard, and I love it. Um, just opened up, I think, last year. Um, in fact, I know it was last year because I was there for the grand opening. Um, La Jete in Orlando. Um, you got to talk to Joey. He will square you away. Another guy who's knowledgeable about fragrances, um, he's got a select number of niche. If you're looking for that, again, um, he, he knows the stuff. The boutique itself is phenomenal. Like, you walk inside there... And it's like the Holy Grail. A blessing, a blessing from the Lord. It's like, you know, high end, posh city. I mean, the dude will give you drinks, food, whatever. You know, he's going to swear you away. He'll let you spray up all the fragrances that you want to test or whatever. Put it on strips, talk to you about them. Um, La Jete in Orlando. Next. Back out to California, my man, Alan, um, Beverly Hills Perfumery. Um, this guy, again, is knowledgeable, wicked large collection of niche fragrances. The customer service is stellar. Um, you know, he's a fast shipper. And like I said, anything you can think of in terms of niche fragrances, he has them. Beverly Hills Perfumery. In the very last place that I get my fragrances, we're going up to Montana. Um, her name is Crystal, and it's Crystal Fragrance. Now, she, let me tell you something. Like, all these places that I mentioned, you know, wicked awesome when it comes to customer service, but you're going to be hard-pressed to match her. Um, again, all of them are good, but she goes a step beyond. Um, she knows her stuff. Literally, it's in the mailbox the very moment you order it. Done. Done. The woman knows her stuff. Um, hit her up. She's got a lot of fragrances in her collection or her offerings of building every single day. You go on the website every day. It's like, you know, new arrivals and bang. It's like stuff you've never heard of. 
if you are into niche fragrances, like I said, these are the boutiques where I get my fragrances. Now, you might be saying, well, how come you're not loyal to just one or whatever? I get that. But remember, you know, when it comes to these fragrances, I can tell you now from talking to one of my friends who owns a boutique that you're not guaranteed to get, you know, every niche fragrance, even if it's a popular house. All right. You know, you can't get um, MFK just because you want to sell them. He's very particular from what I heard. He's very particular about who he allows to sell his stuff. So the reason why I go in different places and bounce around is because some some of these boutiques have fragrances um, that others don't. So if Oswald doesn't have it, Crystal Fragrance is going to have it. You know what I mean? Um, if she doesn't have it, Alan is going to have it over Beverly Hills Perfumery. If he doesn't have it, Lucky Scent will have it, so on and so forth. You, you get what I'm saying? So in case, again, you're trying to build a collection um, of niche fragrances... Again, you may not even go there. If you're a designer fragrance person, then obviously this video is not even for you. But again, if you're looking to build a niche collection, um, and even if you're not, if you just want, you know, some of the really nice fragrances that you hear about, that you smell, whatever, these are where I get them from, right? And you can see my collection. I've done this over 14, 15 years. I've been doing this the past 12, you know, strictly niche. So... I kind of have a, a little bit of an idea of where to go, blah, blah, blah. Now, there are some sites that I have not mentioned that I have heard about. Some gray market sites. I can visit those later. I haven't hit them up yet. But if and when I do, I'll let you all know. Or because I've not heard of any, if you guys know of any, you can hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what I've, what I've missed where you guys get your fragrances. And, you know, maybe we can, you know, swap ideas or whatever. But that's it. All right. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later.